completely skeptical. I truly thought it wasn't possible. Um, and I literally told all my friends that uh, I don't think this can work, but if it's possible that it could work, um, it'll be Stephen Slade who can do it. What really made me know that this was game changing was when I had El DeBarge over for a session. Um, El doesn't like compression, he doesn't like reverb, he doesn't like anything on his vocal. So as soon as I first started recording and I had him through the 47, um, he, he's like, he looks over me with this really, he's like, you don't have compression on me, do you? He's like, come on, man. How, how many times have we done this? Of course I don't have compression on me. He's like, I don't know, I just, I need, I need something, I need more presence. And two seconds, put on the um, 800, and literally he went like this. He sang one line, and he went, ah, oh, thank you. And that's when I knew this was game changing. If it could make an old soul like that, an old legend, um, truly change his whole performance. And literally from then on, the session was quick like that. Every take was boom, 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 boom. And it was all because he got what he was looking for in the mic and it took one second to do. I work with a lot of people who do have huge collections of mics. Um, I probably have five mics, but who really has a 47, um, you know, a C800G, a 67? Like, there aren't that many people who have all of those mics. And, you know, for me, usually if I'm a Henson, we'll go through one mic after another after another till I find the mic that's perfect for this artist. The beauty of this is you don't have to put another mic up. You don't have to get them to sing into another, you know, you don't have to repatch anything. It's just there. It takes one second, pick a new mod, boom, it's there.